How do I tell my 55 female husband, 56 male, about my son's 28 male new girlfriend, 28 female? It's a lot of fucking numbers. I apologize for any issue with this post as I don't really use Reddit, but I couldn't think of anywhere else to ask for advice anonymously. I have three sons, 32, 28, and 26. All of my sons are very successful young men and are on their own. My oldest and youngest were always very outgoing and were kind of party animals in high school and college. My middle focused on his grades and future from a young age. He moved out the youngest into his own home. Anyway, my middle had a very bad ex-girlfriend. I would like to say worse, but I read the rules here. Basically, they dated since 17 and she cheated on him several times. My son never left because he loved her, but eventually he realized she was a bad woman and left her. And it only took eight years. Ah, damn. Ah, damn. Yeah, that's tough. Stay- a long time. Eight years? Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, my oldest got married at 29 and my youngest is engaged. They give my middle son a lot of crap because he is single. But I always say that his ex kind of messed up his sense of love and confidence or sense of love and confidence. They don't understand what he went through. My husband agrees. And six months ago, he started dating this new girl that we just met yesterday. I was happy to hear that he found someone. She is very educated and smart, according to him. They have similar personalities and interests. Considering my middle is kind of a nerd, that made me very happy to hear. Anyway, I wanted to meet her immediately. My son said that she is very shy and it would take her time. And six months later, she told him that she is ready to meet us. So Friday afternoon, my husband decides to grill. Everyone comes over, then my son and his new girlfriend shows up. This beautiful girl walks in holding his hand and standing behind him. He was right. She is very shy. We all introduce ourselves and we will call her Sadie. Sadie was quiet but said hi to everyone. She honestly associated the most with our dog that night. I'm with you, Sadie. I relate. I would, yeah, I would go to the pets first before the people. <laughs> That's exactly uh, what I do at parties. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to meet I'm going to forget your name, but I'll forever remember your dog's name. Yeah. <laughs> my sons go out and help their dad cook. And my daughter-in-law goes out with my grandbaby and soon-to-be daughter-in-law and her are best friends, so they go out together. I asked if Sadie would like to help me finish the sides and chop some stuff. She says, sure. I just, has, I just ask how they met and typical conversations. Eventually, my middle comes in and comes up behind her and pokes her booty. She gives him a really look and hits, uh, hits him in the arm and he grabs her and pick her up as they laugh. I say, put her down and don't be so rough on her. My son just says, okay, put her down and goes back out. I said, sorry, three boys. Sometimes they are a little too rough, but he is harmless. She said, I know he is. I used to wrestle with my dad and brother growing up too. I said, your mom let her daughter wrestle her older brother and dad? She said, well, I used to be a boy, so I guess it was different. And giggled. I froze. I said, what? Her face went snow white and immediate tears rolled down her face. She said, he didn't tell you? And I went, no. She said, I I think I should leave. I'm I'm sorry. I grabbed her and said, no. No, stay here. And I said, does my son know? She said, yes, he knows. She then said, I always bring it up first date, so if there are issues, we don't waste each other's time. To be honest, I am very surprised, but my son has never been so happy, so I dropped it. I honestly just couldn't believe it. I mean, you would never know. She's gorgeous. She asked if I thought of her different, and I said that you make my son happy, and as long as you treat him right, I won't care. She just said thank you. And I called my son today because his dad wants to get to know her more and wants to go to dinner with just them and us. He said, sure. I brought up our conversation and he said he knows. He said that she's just really shy about it and doesn't talk about it at all. She just tried to run under a radar. He said that since you know, we need to tell dad. But they discussed me, or, but they discussed me kind of pre-telling my husband. So before tomorrow evening, any idea on how or should I tell my son before we go, that he and her are going to have to do it. They wrote that weird, but they're pretty much asking if, they sh- if the mom should talk to the dad first. Um, any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I, I may have missed this, but is the dad like prone to having issues with things like this? Didn't say in the story. Okay. I mean, presuming the best in people, I assume he 
will also be okay with it <laughs> yeah. if you just tell them. Yeah. Um, That's what I was thinking too. Like you obviously, you know, we're fine with it. I imagine, you know, most partners have similar ideas on these things. Uh, you would hope. You would hope. You would hope. So, <laughs> but you know, not always the case. <laughs> That's it's <true>. always different. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We do have some stories where the Mama Lynn story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is a very, very excellent good uh, point. Show of divide. <laughs> good fucking That's point, true. actually. Uh, so you would hope yeah. that uh, you know you would take it the same way. Uh, but I mean, I guess if you're worried about it, then you know maybe have him say something or. But again, it really doesn't matter. Like him as a son, say something. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because then, because then, if your dad gets mad, uh, you could, you know, but your dad's an asshole. Yeah, you could take yeah. your girlfriend away and be like, "Well, at least uh, we know we're done with him, right?" Like he's out. Well, see, see, that's why I think OP should, uh, should like bring it up to the, the husband. husband, just in case he has like some sort of blowout. It's not in front of their son and and his girlfriend. Uh, his girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, so then it's like a. Okay, yeah, like your dad's not cool with this, like, uh, which is shitty. Um, and then maybe we get a Mama Lynn update, uh, yeah, where she tells him to get the fuck out. But, um, I that's why I personally think the OP should bring it up to the husband just to be like, OP as in the mom, yeah, yeah, OP yeah, in, the as mom. in the mom mm. should bring it yeah. up to the husband, the husband, um, and just you know, say, hey, here's what's going on. Uh, I mean, that's really all you need to say is <laughs> like. Uh, and I, I don't even truly know why it would be a big deal, um, yeah. but and that's what I would do. Yeah, that's true. I, I thought originally the son should do it, but then the mom, the when the mom is cool with it, so mm -hmm. she could just do it and then like tell her son, like, we got to actually get rid of this guy. This guy's a fucking <laughs> transphobe. <laughs> Uh, exactly. I'm a, I'm a read like a relevant comment first from the OP and then I'll, I'll jump into the update afterwards. So We'll see. Is it a Mamalin story? We shall see. <laughs> but uh, this one is, uh, you know, uh, OP commented, uh, pretty much gave a little bit of an update. They put, at this point, I have made my decision to tell my husband a little bit before we leave to meet them for dinner. If he reacts poorly, I will tell my son to not show up. If he reacts well, then we will see where the night goes. Yes, yeah. I'm sure she is doing, uh, she was, she's doing it to protect herself. She came from a very traditional family and minus her parents, according to her, they all pretty much shun her away, which is fuck that family, man. Yeah, like, that terrible. Is, yeah. Ugh, I hate that. And then uh, there's a the top comment below uh, that OP they put. Uh, Shelly Bearcat included. Personally, I think you should tell him earlier so he has more time to process. And whether or not dinner happens isn't based solely off his in initial knee jerk reaction. Which, to uh, Josh's point, I think I'll also go that route as well. Yeah. Um, perfect. So the update for that one. Uh, OP wrote, hello, everybody. I would like just first to say thank you for the kind words. Everything, believe it or not, went very well. Nice. It means an oh, yeah. awesome story uh, episode. I took the advice and told my husband earlier than I had planned. I told him at noon when we were going to pick up my son, we will call Sam and Sadie at six. The conversation basically was fairly quick. I just told him I needed to tell him something and he had to promise me not to be upset. He just said, speak. I just said, Sadie is trans. He just went, hmm, okay. He said, <laughs> we will talk later. I said something about dinner and he just said, we'll talk later. And I told Sam and I told him I have his back. Good mom. Yeah. I am wondering why the dad is just, you know, being mysteriously vague about it though. <laughs> yeah, that is a weird re like, response to that. Oh, yeah. Dinner's on because... That's fucking fine. That's normal. Doesn't bother Who me. cares? Whatever. Yeah. I'm excited for dinner. Yeah. As long as our son's happy. But no, he's, he's like, like, we'll talk later. We'll what? talk okay. later. <laughs> hey, we got to have some sort of like, suspense, you know, cliffhanger here, right? Yeah, we need yeah. some suspense at least. That's true. Um, on the drive to Sam's place, I told my husband that Sam loves her and makes him happy. I explained it took a lot of courage from Sadie to be open with us right from the beginning. And my husband just said, We'll talk later. And said, I promise I will be on my best behavior. I mean, at least okay, he promised well, he I'll be on their best yeah. behavior. Yeah, 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 it doesn't yeah. always mean that. But. <laughs> we go pick up Sam and Sadie. It was a nice restaurant, so my husband and Sam were in polos and dress pants. Sadie and I were in dresses. 
and they looked so cute together when I saw them. They were matching and everything. So we go to dinner, and my husband is acting normal, just asking questions to Sam and Sadie about intentions, how they met, etc. After dinner, I give her a lot of credit. Sadie tried to bring it up with my husband, and he just said, Hold that thought. Let's go get some ice cream. Husband、okay. is obsessed with ice cream. Will always, he will always,、uh, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> he will always find an excuse to get it. So we go, as he is just telling jokes to everyone in the car and acting a fool, as he always does. We get there and ask what everyone wants. My husband's,、uh, my husband's favorite is chocolate. Mine is cookies and cream. Sam's, strawberry. And Sadie's is butter pecan. I promise. Strawberry? A、hey, terrible. Some、pick. strawberry ice cream is good, <laughs> brother. I would say yeah, if it's strawberry cheesecake, if it's a、shortcake? vanilla with strawberries, I'm into、yes. it. But a strawberry, fl- that's how I feel about also chocolate flavor ice cream. Chocolate and strawberry. I agree, I agree with that. I'm kind of like not into it, but a vanilla with those things,、mm-hmm. like with actual chocolate or with actual strawberries. Now we're talking. Yeah, much better. Now we're talking. Much better. <laughs> strawberry shortcake or strawberry cheesecake is my go to, baby. The strawberry shortcake popsicle these- is fucking bomb. That's fire. You know never what I mean? Never had that. <gasps> you never had that? All right. I we're, don't next, think so. we're bringing something to Canada, bro.、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've had strawberry cheesecake before. Is it the same flavor? I don't know、Ooh. how to explain a strawberry shortcake. Yeah,、popsicle. it's just good.、Okay. Right. It's, it's like a cookie, but also ice cream, but also a popsicle.、Oh. I don't know. It's probably a terrible well, description. Now I'm excited. It's just delicious. Oh my God. Thinking of sugar right now is hitting me in the itch. But <laughs> so God sorry. Damn.、Uh, <laughs> we get our ice cream. And after a few minutes, my husband says, It's weird how there are so many different types of ice cream. When I was a kid, there w a s like two or three. Now they have hundreds, it seems like. I was confused where my husband was going with this. He then said, As long as the ice cream that you like tastes good to you and makes you happy, I don't mind forking out a few dollars for a smile. He then winked at Sam and Sadie. That was it. That was the discussion. <laughs> We took them home and he gave Sam and Sadie each a hug and told Sadie he hopes she can make it to more dinners on the weekends as we do them often. Sadie said that she will. All I have to say. I held my husband's arm the whole way home. I am guilty. I did give him a big present for it. So, oh, oh, love that.、Mm. Oh, yeah. Rocky Road to another level, baby. You gave her your <laughs> cookies and cream. How about、Jeez. that?、Uh, oh, God. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for your support and kind words. It seems everything is going to be fine. I like how he was so vague to drop <laughs> ice cream like wisdom on them. Honestly, big dad energy there.、Uh, just so he's、yeah, such a big dad. Like,、energy. oh, I'm going to fucking kill him with this one, brother. I got this. I'm going to kill him with this one. I mean, a very wholesome story, but. That's、yeah. just a lasting impression, at least.、Yeah. Uh, over ice cream and an acceptance? Shit. Yeah, hell yeah. I will yeah. forever yeah. remember that. My man dragged it out. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah. but it was a good, wholesome ending,、uh, yeah, which led to a, a much less wholesome ending for OP. You know, <laughs> I,、uh, OP, OP was indulging in some popsicles post、oh. ice cream, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know、oh, what I'm、yeah. saying? Yeah, I、uh, love the, the ice cream wisdom from, from dad. Yeah.、Uh, oh, yeah. It's very、uh, like,、um, Like sitcom, like Disney dad sitcom. Yeah.、Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> End of the episode. Yeah, make an allegory. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is good. <laughs> ah, damn. That's, that's so wise. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but my head is going Shit's Creek on this one when they were talking about wine. I don't know if you guys watched Shit's Creek before. I've, I've only side it,、yeah. watched. I need to go from beginning、mm. to end. So、Same. good. Every time Nancy、so、is、good. watching it, I sit down and watch the episode. I just haven't done it in order, but yes. Very good show. It is such a good show. But yeah, I mean, it's a little happy ending over there and a happy ending for the husband. <laughs> no, sure. More、yeah. than one way. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs>